All right, guys, let's get right into this Get Ready With Me video. I'm going to start prepping my face with my moisturizer. All products that I'm using will be listed below. I want this video to be more about technique as opposed to the products. But if you are interested in what I am using, look in the description box. So right there, I'm just patting in and rubbing my moisturizer into my skin. And I'm going to start with my brows as usual. Now, if you want to see a full brow routine, I will also list a video below as well for that my most recent um, brow routine because right here I'm just going to speed through it and I'm not showing you everything for the sake of you know the time in this video Alright guys, so my brows are done and I'm going to prep my eyelids and I'm going to use a primer. Primer is always necessary. If you want your shadows to last, if you want them to pop off of your, your um, actual skin, then you need to use a primer. It's going to make your shadows more vibrant. So I prime my lids. I'm going to actually take one extra step because the primer that I use is really, really good and it normally doesn't crease, but we are in high humidity right now. So I wanted to put some translucent powder on top of that to make sure that it stays put. And again, guys, don't focus on the products I use. I use drugstore. I use um, department store. I also have high end, but you know you can use different things to achieve this look so i'm going into this palette from bh cosmetics and i'm going to go throughout those four shadows on the middle row again all the names will be listed below so i'm basically taking a pink and an orange and mixing it together and i'm applying that all over the crease so that is going to be like my transitioning color i want to create a faux cut crease so I'm really about making um, eyeshadow or should I say makeup looks that transcend time. I don't really focus on trends and actually what seems or appears to be a trend are things that have always been around and they just renamed it. So right here, I'm in, again, I'm going to create a cut crease without the actual cutting of the crease. Just stay tuned, you'll understand. <laughs> So right there, I'm blending out the shadow. It's very important with looks like these that you blend and blend. So for my eyelid, I am um, placing a shimmery uh, champagne color all over the lid. And what that is doing with the two contrasts of the colors, it's making it appear to be a cut crease. Now I'm taking a purple and I'm just applying that to the outer corners of my um, crease line and I want to blend that out and what that is going to do is just add some dimension to the look. It's going to create some levels in the eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into my mascara and I'm just going to apply that all over my lashes. Now guys, I do a lot of amping up my lashes because they're pretty long and thick, but they are not, um, you know, as thick as it would be if I were to put false lashes on. But I'm not going to use falsies today, but you are more than welcome to apply lashes. Um, I'm going to prime my face now with a primer and this primer is actually a little bit of mattifying so because I have combination skin and it gets really oily in the summer this is a perfect primer for summertime um, you just have to look for a primer again that's mattifying you don't want any oil based products so I'm, the foundation that I'm using is the matte fit me the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless so again that's matte that's going to help with the oiliness of my skin 
and I'm just applying that with a flat kabuki brush and I'm going to um, dabble and blend that in I just I love applying it with the brush I feel like I have a little bit better control um, with the brush as opposed to the beauty blender and the brush doesn't take that much of the product away like I feel like sometimes the beauty blender soaks up product but I'm going to go ahead and apply that all around my face it does oxidize so it won't be as orange once it sets in I'm just making sure to drag that down to my neck I'm going to lightly contour with that um, deep I think it's called film noir buying that is by Mac you just want to take a deep color uh, a brown and put that in the hollows of your cheeks and around your forehead and I just wanted to add a little bit of um, smoke out the bottom should I say the bottom lash line so that's what I did I applied that purple there and now I am applying mascara to my bottom lashes it always helps to tilt your head to the side so that way you can see the lash and you avoid getting the mascara all over your face and now I'm just going to add a little highlight to my brow bone I'm taking this iridescent champagne color and I'm going to apply that right under the arch of my eyebrow and guys, I wanted to give you an update. I meant to do that in the beginning of my neck, my hyperpigmentation. It is lightening up very well. I'm using a soap. And once I am finished and have the final results, I'm going to share that with you in case any of you have any hyperpigmentation or dark spots that you want to, um, you know, eliminate. So right there, I'm blending out that, that highlight. The trick is you want everything to look like it's seamless on your, your face. So right there I'm just adding translucent powder with a um, powder brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend that out that is to help to set the makeup and I'm adding a little highlight that is also from the it's my Ray Ray palette the name of that highlight will be below and it's just a small amount a little does go a long way so be careful when you're picking up highlighter of, of any type because sometimes it can be outrageous you might like outrageous so if that's the case then go for it boo so right there I'm adding a pop of color in my tear duct um, that's just something that I always do it makes my eyes look a little bit brighter more awake because your girl needs to look more awake and I just love this color this is a makeup geek eyeshadow that will be listed below alright guys and for my lips I wanted to do something neutral since my eyes were kinda bold and I am just outlining my lips with a brown um, lip liner and anytime that I go for a nude lip I make sure that I do line my lips because I don't want the nude to or my lips to appear washed out like it's matching my actual skin so I always apply a liner And now I'm just going to apply the lip product. And this is actually a gloss, guys. I am obsessed with this. And I think this is like the perfect nude for me. Your girl has hit the jackpot with this. I wasn't too sure. But I'm like, I'm feeling it. And this is a ColourPop gloss, so it will be listed below. And right there, I just set my face with um, my setting spray. And this is a close-up look of what the makeup looks like. Just giving y'all some angles. Guys, enjoy. If you are not a part of this eternity, make sure that you subscribe so that you can be L W L U U L. And if not, thumbs up the video if you like it. If you don't like it, keep it moving. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. Be blessed. And most importantly, be a blessing. Smooches.